some deaths. So if you have hypermobility deaths, do you quote unquote need to do genetic tests? So no, you don't need to. Um, as I said, most likely it's, it's either going to be normal or it's not going to help us. So a lot of the times we don't do genetic testing when, when there's nothing, when there's no uh, red flags, as we like to say in medicine, or anything that, you know, makes us concerned that there's more than hypermobile EDS. Um, it's not a downside, but sometimes things get murky. So in a perfect world, the genetic test would either be clearly abnormal or clearly normal. And a lot of times we get, and many of you may have had these, these so-called VUS, V-U-S, variant of uncertain significance, where there's some sort of variation in the gene sequence, and we don't know if that's just a normal variation or, or if that's something that's gonna cause a problem. So sometimes getting the testing, it just gets, it just gets confusing, but it's not, not horrible in and of itself.